Hello there, you legends. Welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy with me, Barking Gaming. If you are new, please subscribe. That would be amazing. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, so yeah, for them who are new, check that link out to the top right corner. That is the previous episode. We are in the sort of out of bounds area. Uh, no students are allowed in here after dark. But we sneaked in. So yeah, go check that episode out. And find out how we did that. And um, once you finish watching that, then come back to here. Now, last episode, I did leave it here. So yeah, Sebastian was standing right here. Uh, looks like, because I've loaded back into the game, he is now gone. Uh, the Librarian's gone, Poltergeist is gone, Ghosts are gone, I'm all alone, there's nobody here besides me. It looks like there's somebody sitting in there though, who's that? It's a bit eerie. Oh, there's a the library. Oh, 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 I suppose she doesn't know who it is. We're in here. Shall we see what happens? Let's see what happens. She went to run at me then, didn't she? Ah! 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 Scary! Scary Barry! Nope, she's not bothered. <laughs> okay, let's go return to Professor Big. Are we in daytime now? We could be at daytime, that's why she's not too fussed. Magic book, show me the way. Let's go. Uh, also, uh, last episode, I didn't put, put it this way, it didn't make it into the recording, but I did a side ops where we had to find some balls for some girl, some, I don't know, some game she's got. Uh, so we did that and it gave me a handle for me wand. So here we go. We now have a handle on the wand. Mind you, what's that? We've got another one. Oh. I'm having that one instead. So yeah. It didn't make it into the edit because the edit was too long. Am I going the wrong way now? No, I'm going the right way. No, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, come on. Wrong stairs. <laughs> Okay, we're nearly here. Go see Professor Fig. Let him know what we've seen. Quest begin. Hello? Hello? Why did they have to start the quest there? Oh, okay. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood? Makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. Hello. I have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. Okay. What? That's... Wait, you accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. 
I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Page is missing. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful. It may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. Uh, what will you tell them? What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. Of course. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Okay. That is a very good point to be fair. Ooh, and blowing. Um, I've not done any other classes for a while. Nail, read. It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Natty just sent you an outpost requesting to meet here at Lower Hogsfield, a hamlet. Okay. Is that a main mission or a side mission? Wait here to advance time today. What? Uh, so, well, uh, where have we got to meet her? This is the world map. Most of the map is covered by fog, limiting what you can see. Okay, hamlets are small communities throughout the world. Ah, oh, okay. The hamlets, Lower Hogsfield. Hamlets provide new opportunities for vendors, flea flames, side quests, and collectibles. Okay. As you explore, you'll Professor remove the Fig fog and reveal Weasley more have asked of the that map. I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Also, apologies for part four. I called it He Cat. It's Hecate. Don't ask me why I said He Cat. <laughs> why is that lit up like that? Uh, Repairer. No. Nope. No. Nope. Incendio. Yep. Yep. <laughs> no idea. Uh, so right, let's check next mission. So these are the challenges of God. Oh, okay. Ah, so I... Right. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, quests. Uh, 
Okay, so herbology class. Let's go. Let's go to class. Uh, magic boop. Direct to me. This way. What are you up to now? Nothing. What are you up to now? Don't you ask me. I can stop. Over, I can over. Wait, wait. Ah, that's for the side mission. No, I'm not doing that. We are going to class. But saying that, it is night time. New you. There we go. Ooh, check this out. What? Slept on the floor all night. <laughs> Begin. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello. Class? Please welcome the newest rose in our garden. Hello. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the belting bone. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> what were them? Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a Oh, I've seen these. These are them screaming roots, aren't they? Well, <laughs> quickly, take your bandwidth in the new port and cut down the should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. Why? I need to have a brief word with our new student. Why was mine mature? I was born with it. <laughs> yeah, I'll stop it. Uh, I wonder if hippogriffs like not grass. Hippogriffs. Hippogriffs. Okay, teacher. Like Professor Garlic. Come on, you could have had a better name than that garlic. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Uh, I nearly went deaf. I'll say, I nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. 
A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Uh, confused. Or what do we need to do? Oh, plant pot. Dissonant restorative properties make it a vital plant ingredient in the Wiganwell potion, as plant you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Ready in ten minutes. What? Yield five. The leaves of this medicinal herb are used in Wigan Wild Potion. Dittany seeds can be purchased at the Magic Neep and can be grown in pots of any size. Okay. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wigan Wild Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Uh, okay. I'm scared I'm going to get out in the light by cabbage. <laughs> Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. Uh, nice I'll be to showing meet you. you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But, your lead. Why me? Why are you nice sending me a fear? Defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me. Your jewel is oh, Sebastian. I oh. he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well. Thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have. Oh no! Oh, Hecate sorry. I'm me. great. Didn't she <laughs> stop that dragon skull from crushing you? Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Good, sick of listening to you. Grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Eh, uh, what? I do do that. I need to select the Chinese chomping from my tool wheel, toss it towards the dummy. Ah, uh, no, wrong button. Eh, uh, I'll Look at that. They'll chomp on anything they can get there. Wow. Mum's on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. They're Vicious powerful. little bastards, aren't they? <laughs> My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Uh, suppose they could come in hand, sure, but that's just a dummy. I was imagining it already. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Yeah, catch the cabbage. What do you mean? <laughs> I want to pick it up. Boom. Ah. Oh no, I got, I got, and uh, uh, yeah. Oh, I'll pick it up, I don't Oh, it's just blown up. Ah, oh, the cabbage. There we go, collect some more. Nice. Anything else? Collect all this, we'll take some of that, bit of this, bit of that. What's over here? 
Can we take any of this? No. Take it all. That's the way to do it. Uh. Okay, so we have got to go through this door. Back onto the square over the bridge. Same way you come. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. Clopton? Clopton? Anyway, Professor. I tended Onion. to the Chinese chunky cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. As am I, plants offer so much. Don't care much for plants, honestly. Magical no, well, like, plants I have like so gardening. much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Lovely. Quest complete. That is our third lesson of Hogwarts done. Uh, I think we've got time for one more. Quest available. Let's see what we've got. What's this collections? Uh, okay. Uh, also, the thing actually says live as a student until Professor Fig returns. So, attend herbology class, attend potion class. So, we'll do that next. Then, we'll meet with Natty. Then, we've got a special summit or other which I haven't unlocked yet. So, yeah, potions class. Let's go attend the potions class. Where do we go, magic paper? This way? Oh, right. Go! I like that. <laughs> it's very scary, but I like it. Back the last time. Oh, there was someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make me. Hello! I'm here for class! <laughs> <laughs> Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wiganwell potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wiganwell potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Okay. So it's going to go horribly wrong. It's going to go. Use kaboom. a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Yeah. You must stir your cauldron in the correct direction. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Bang. Give the stairs, steer it up, steer it up. Ah. 
How did it do, Professor? I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from J. Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Skill? He's got no way. Uh... He's got no trust in me, I see. Okay. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Okay. My, My Wiganwell potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from J. Pippins. Uh, Sebastian. Me buddy old pal. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an aura. I wish he talked about it more. Is he... Uh... You're Sebastian, aren't you? Sure it is. You Sebastian? <laughs> He's a bit happy with that, isn't he? He's like, yeah, that'll work. Well, let me talk to you, though. Why don't you let me talk to you? Fine job brewing your first Wiccan Wild potion. But there are many potions yet to learn. This is going to be a busy year. Uh, okay. Professor Sharp said that Wiccan Wild potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. Ah, oh, you'll need it. Don't worry about that. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience. Professor, what should I be doing again? You should have collected the ingredients from my office and begun brewing a potion at your cauldron. Oh. Finish your potion and then return to me. Sorry, I forgot. Uh... Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? You heard correctly. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do Ooh, say so myself. Weasley. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen. Anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fooper feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I can get you that. I'll get you the Fooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fruit feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Mmm, okay. Remember. Mongrel fear? Yes, I'll be having a bit of that. Ashwind eggs? Yes, I'll be having them as well. Don't think of it. Ooh, feather. Big purple one. Yay! Just oh man, I'm ransacking this guy. You're gonna have nothing left. Uh, have we done? Have we done? Pick up. Memorandum. Uh, date 31st of December 1875 from Aurora Office. Uh, subject: Borgen and Bix. Borgen and Bix had an increased amount of activity outside ordinary shop hours. Particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more auroras to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instructions to follow. Okay. We just pocket the note, you know what I mean? 
have I got? It's, a, it's nothing else in here, is it? Revelio. Normally reveals stuff. Nope. Okay. Your potion should not be that color, Miss McDowell. Here's the fopper feather you wanted. Brilliant. Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, let's save all the zeal. This one. Should you chop the didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Uh, we see Aridus. We see Aridus wants his. This one. Select. Mix it up, don't you know? Mix it up, you got to mix it up. Eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey, pick up. Uh, so what I just made a potion that enhances the drinker's defense by covering them with a durable rocky skin. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Hey, you now. What's he done? Dragon dog. What happened? <laughs> What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. What the? There'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. <gasps> his accomplice will answer to me as well. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> and we just sneak out. Uh, never to be seen again. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's go speak to the professor. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Oh, how did you know? I don't know what you mean. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say... You've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Okay, that's our fourth class done. each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Hey, yeah. You run around the circles. Woo. All right. Let's go, go, go. Ugh, my robes are going to really now, was it two pinches of But, guys, that is all we've got time for today. If you've enjoyed... Ooh, what is this? Magic door. Okay. But, yeah, if you've enjoyed the episode, guys, please slap the like button. If you are new, please subscribe. Or consider subscribing. That would really be appreciated. Um, so, yeah. As always, guys, have a good day, have a good week, whatever you are doing. And I shall catch you all back in next episode. Cheers, guys.